Hello, today is September 15th, 2018. I am Silver of Silver Hypnosis, and uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, this is just going to be a state of the channel video because I felt like I haven't done one recently. And, uh, I don't know, I felt like I needed to put another one out. I like to keep my listeners, viewers, I don't know what to call you because I make audio files for a living. So calling you viewers seems sort of like a misnomer, almost. Because you're not really viewing anything so much as you are listening. Oh well. Either way. Uh, first, let me thank all of you uh, for all of your support. Uh, I'm certainly glad to see the people are supporting me. Even uh, my content seems to be harder to put out. And there are a number of reasons for that. And I will get into them shortly. But first, uh, again, thank you all to those who support me on Patreon. Thank you to all of you who like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff on YouTube. Uh, can't thank you enough, honestly, because it's because of you that I can keep doing this. Uh, it's because of you that I do keep doing this. Uh, yes, I enjoy it, but I certainly enjoy making people happy more. And uh, if I wasn't making people happy, I don't. I think I would be doing something else. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, I've been putting out less content lately. Um, and it's mostly because my real life in general has become extremely busy um, and stressful, would be a good way to put it, um, for a number of reasons. Uh, but following up on the last video I did of these, uh, being psych seeing a psychologist uh, and going over what I thought for most of my life was fairly normal uh, behavior, and turning out that no, that's not normal behavior, and most people don't do things like that. Um, for example, when I was in uh, school, like high school, uh, I always, like, I would never turn in my homework. Um, and my parents and my uh, teachers just always assumed that I forgot to turn it in. Um, they knew I did it, I just never turned it in, and the reason I never turned it in was um, I was very bad at getting it out in time, so, like, people would be like, oh, pass the homework around, and, you know, you're in high school or middle school or whatever, and they're like, okay, pass your homework in, and so it, it starts moving, so you're supposed to take it out, but I would always struggle to get it out in time, and then I would feel awkward because I'm like, oh, it already went by me, so I guess that means I just can't turn it in. <laughs> well, guess I missed it. Guess I'm not turning in my homework. Um, which is not a good behavior. Most people would just be like, oh, okay, and hand it in. But I was always, like, super awkward and uh, growing up because I just, like, I felt like that pressure to not, to, like, not rock the boat. Like, you're trying to pretend to be normal. <laughs> so you're trying to pretend that everything's okay when everything is not okay. <laughs> um, similar thing in college. I had this issue where, like, if I missed... Like, if I didn't show up to class on time, I would, rather than just go back, or go come in late, or go back to wherever I was living, I would just sit outside the room, basically pacing, because I wouldn't be able to force myself to go in, but I also wouldn't be able to force myself to leave, because I was supposed to be there. So I just kind of sat there awkwardly, you know, pacing around for long periods of time, for hours on end because I wouldn't be able to make myself go in or leave. Because <laughs> I was supposed to be there, but I couldn't go in because I would be going in late and I didn't want to be rude. So, you know, overwhelming pressure of dealing with your own brain. Um, and in a more modern example, because I graduated college years ago now, a uh, more modern example, um, occasionally I will wake up and I'll look at my clock, and despite the fact that I usually don't have any uh, time that I'm supposed to wake up uh, right now, uh, despite the fact that I basically set no time for myself where I should be awake. Um, occasionally, I'll just look at the clock and go, that's the wrong time to be awake. Uh, I'm not supposed to be awake right now. Uh, or something like or something like that. I'll just be like, oh, it's the wrong time to be awake. Guess that means I've screwed up this entire day. Might as well sleep for 27 hours and then wake up tomorrow and start again. Uh... I don't know how many people take mulligans on their days on a semi-regular basis. <laughs> on uh, You wake up at 9.30 instead of 9 o'clock, and you're like, well, I guess the only alternative is to sleep for the next 27 hours, uh, and then doing it. <laughs> it's also not good to eat when you, you know, not eat and stuff. 
like that. It's usually a bad idea. Uh, I don't recommend doing that, but that's how my brain functions on a regular basis. Um, like, there's certain times for certain things. I can only eat certain foods at certain times of the day. Things like that. Uh, I can't make myself, for some reason, uh, do other things, which is a struggle on a regular basis, especially when you're trying to do work, uh, when your brain just doesn't let you do it. Um, especially if you, like, hyper-focus on like, words or phrases or things like that for days on end because it's not right. <laughs> uh, and you can't give it up either. That's one of the other things. It's like I'll, I'll occasionally start fi or start scripting a file and be like, this is the file I'm doing. And I'll do, like, uh, like three-fourths of it, and then I'll get stuck. And rather than start a new file when I have ideas or go do, like or, like, redo parts of it, or, you know, do something else. I just sort of hyper-focus on it, and I can't do anything else. So I just kind of sit around, like, agonizing for no reason. And that's not healthy, and you shouldn't do that. So if you do things like this, you should go to your doctor and have it checked out, because you should... You're probably not as... You're probably not... This is not normal behavior, and you shouldn't do it. Well, okay, it's not that you shouldn't do it, but it's not healthy to do it. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to do things. This is not how your brain's supposed to work. Um, and there are ways to cope with it, and I'm learning those. I'm trying those. Um, but if, you, if you're if you like me, you went through most of your life up until this point going, I guess it's just normal behavior, even though it's not normal behavior. Because um, it's all you know. So, uh... Yeah, go to, if that if this sounds like wow, I do things like that. You should probably go talk to your doctor um, and tell them things like this. Uh, don't be like me and you know do things like find old Dungeons and Dragons manuals and put all of the uh, all of the uh, what do you call them charts? No, no, they're like tables. Yeah, that's it. That's the word. Put all the tables into notepad documents. <laughs> You know, spend 200 hours uh, taking all of the Dungeons & Dragons tables out of, you know, books and redoing them in notepad documents. If you do things like that, you should probably see your doctor. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, you don't realize it at the time because you're doing it until you realize there's something wrong and then you look back on it and go, you know, maybe, I, maybe that is odd behavior. Maybe I should, you know... If you're the kind of person like me and you play Dwarf Fortress... Uh, and you are the kind of person to edit the Dwarf Fortress files extensively, uh, you should probably go see a doctor. Just saying. It might be a, might be a, a clue, a signal to say, hey, you know, maybe my life is not as normal as I think it is. Um, but that's one part of it. The other part of it is dealing with, uh, family issues. And I'm not going to go too deep into it because we don't know anything yet. But, uh, essentially, I've been taking care of my mother, um, because my mother's having some major issues. She already had uh, major back issues and is having problems like walking and doing things around the house and that sort of thing. Um, but now, as a result of uh, head trauma or head trauma that she had as a child, um, she started having auditory and visual hallucinations, uh, which she knows are her hallucinations, I should point out. It's not dementia. Um, she doesn't have dementia. Uh, but <laughs> dealing with that and, you know, going to the hospitals and having EEGs done and, um, you know, talking with her various doctors about, you know, what's going on and trying to figure out what's causing it because they're pretty sure it's due to head trauma from years and years and years ago. Um, but, you know, when you find your mother walking around asking about, you know, Jewish folk music playing or people arguing when nobody's home, or, you know, obviously no one's playing Jewish folk music around where I live. Um, you know, <laughs> things like that. Uh, it's sort of worrying, and it's, you know, it, it just falls to me, basically, um, to sort of pick up the slack, despite the fact that picking up the slack is already <laughs> difficult for someone like me. Um, so that's sort of where I like, you know, what I've been doing. The amount of time I would have, like, normally to focus on that sort of thing is is ta taken up uh, more by dealing with her and her issues and things like that. Um, because obviously, uh, somebody who is having auditory and visual hallucinations 
uh, probably should not be driving. <laughs> probably, probably. If you're not having them, that's great. But at the same time, you know, uh, driving is, uh, you know, a little worrying. <laughs> so, you know, things like that. You, you, you deal with family because it's a family thing. It's, you know, it's you know, it's family. You love them, so you have to deal with it. Uh, it's basically the only long and short of it. But that's basically my life right now is dealing with both my own issues and my mother's issues. <laughs> that's essentially my life. Uh, that's the long and you know, short of it, I suppose. Um, I do want to get more files out. I've just been struggling with a bit of a... I put this with a bit of a creative slump, I suppose. Uh, one of the main problems I'm having is that I don't like to make repeat files, which is not something I think anyone cares about except for me. Because as far as I can tell, everyone loves my work because it's my work, and if I produce the same thing like 30 times in different ways, I'm pretty sure everyone would love it anyway. Because the people who listen to my work always seem to tell me that they want more of my work. Um, there doesn't seem to be a huge... Uh, there doesn't seem to be a huge uh, groundswell of people going, oh man, you should be doing other things. It seems to be a lot more people saying, you need to do more of this, and I don't know, I struggle to make the same things repeatedly. Uh, at least try to change it up, or try to put a new spin on it, or something of that matter. Uh, sometimes I think I should take uh, clues from other parts of YouTube where... People are basically just putting together the same things over and over again. Uh, somebody, somebody, I think, who is more interested in my weight gain files, um, sent me into, like, linked me to, like, mukbang videos, I think they're called, where, like, people basically just sit around and hit... They're basically vlogs with food. Lots and lots of food. Basically, you put food in front of the camera and then do a vlog. As far as I can tell, that's a thing. Um, and some of the people that they sent me to have, like, thousands of videos of just this. And I'm like, you know, if, if these people can just do the same thing over and over, forever, uh, I probably don't need to worry, but I do anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, I probably worry way more than I should, uh, which... Which I think is part of the Asperger's. I think part of the Asperger's is the pressure I put on myself and the uh, expectations I, I create for myself that I cannot possibly hope to uh, hope to meet because no one could meet them. Even if I was a super genius who could do everything at the speed of thought, I probably would not be able to meet my own expectations because I constantly move the goalposts. Uh, which is not a healthy way to be, and you shouldn't do that. And if you do that, it probably means you need to see your doctor. Um, or at least a psychologist. That would probably be a good, good idea. Um, because I wish I had before I uh, came uh, turned another age this month. Uh, I won't say if I've uh, my birthday has already happened or not. Um, I turned 28 this year, and it occurs to me that at 28... Um, that, you know, I, I'm far older than my parents were when they uh, became adults and started doing things. Uh, like, my parents got married at, like, 23. <laughs> so, you know, they got married and had, like, four houses, you know, moved to, like, four and lived in four different places by the time they were, like, my age. And I'm 28 now, and... Or I will be. I'm not going to tell you one way or another. Um... And, you know, I've done none of that. <laughs> like, I've accomplished very little. Um, within the next couple years, they would have had me. So I was their first child. Um, within a couple couple years, um, I would have been born in their lives. And I am in no position to be having a kid. <laughs> Nor do I want any. Um, I, I'm not even a stable, in, a, in a relationship at the moment. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I've sort of, like, started thinking about the fact that, like, compared to my own parents, uh, I am a hot mess of life. Although I think I have a lot more saved away than they did at my age, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, 
I like to keep, I like to, even though with student loans and car insurance and all the other things that you have to pay for to be a human being, uh, I like to think that I save money because I'm paranoid and frugal to a fault. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I just want to keep you, well, keep everyone updated on my life, what I've been doing, why I haven't put out nearly as much content as I feel like I should be putting out. Um, and just kind of the things I've been dealing with in my own little updates. Um, I like to think that I'm pretty pretty open with my community to some extent, which is probably a good thing. Uh, probably. I'd be kind of worried if so many people were interested in some of my files from a shadowy, uh, anonymous person. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's basically it. So thank you all again for all of your support. Thank you, especially to my Patreon supporters who help me do this for a living because YouTube's ad revenue is awful, to say the least. Um, so yeah, see y'all later. Hope you enjoy my work. Hope to have some more workouts pretty soon. Uh, thank you all for listening. Talk to you later.